you ready to kickstart your week with some dirt slinging and tire slaying action motorsports radio that packs the biggest guests? Hi, Ken Block here. Hey, my name's Jolene Van Butte. What's up, Brian Deegan? Vaughn Ginn Jr. here. They've been thrown into one show that has broken down the barriers of what a motorsports radio show should be. This is the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Racer, with support from General Tire, KMC Wheels, Dirtfish, Gibson Exhaust, and MTX Audio, with your host, who also happens to spend his weekends flying 800 horsepower trucks through the dirt, Jim Beaver. When was the last time you saw an off-road or rally driver begging to get behind the wheel of a NASCAR Indy car? Yep, not happening, but you sure see these pavement racers begging to drive our cars. And his partner in crime every week, a self-proclaimed Canadian moto chick who was jumping triples and taking podiums before most guys even learned to ride. Amy Hood. No one knows how to say my last name. Like, is it really that hard? Amy Hood, like I'm from the hood. Don't get it twisted. Sit back, strap in, and be prepared to join us as we take you through a motorsports ride like no other. Here is the man who carries a steering wheel in one hand and a mic in the other, Jim Beaver. Good morning, and what a damn good morning it is. If you didn't see my announcement, uh, we're going to get to it in the next segment. But Mr. Travis Pastrana is going to be joining me in the Polaris Razor Star Car at Vegas Torino. So uh, that's something I've had uh, in my back pocket for like two months now. Finally able to talk about it, Hood. I'm excited to do that in the next segment. Uh, yeah, that's a big one, bringing TP to, to race with me. Um, I don't know. That's yeah, uh, it it's kind of one of those dream deals, you know, right? Everybody wants to team with Travis Pastrana. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, we got that to talk about. I know Amy's got a bunch of stuff, and we got episode number three hundred happening next week. We got this massive guest lineup starting to fall into place. Three hours long coming at you next Tuesday or Wednesday if you listen to national syndication. So that's going on. But today we do have some radio to get to. We got two um. Amazing guests, actually, uh, a couple of more amazing guests. We've got uh, Andy Ives from Polaris. He's calling in in the Terracross segment with Joe Duncan. Uh, Andy's going to tell us all about the new Polaris models. Uh, we've got uh, Sarah Price, uh, won the Hoonigan Driver Search. She's done some flat track. She's running a, a trophy truck spec at Vegas Torino, did Mount Washington Hill Climb. She's on. And then we got part of the Indian Wrecking Crew, Jared Mees. He's won four out of the last five rounds at flat track, took a silver medal at X, all that and more. More coming at you on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. I'm Polaris rider Jim Beaver. I race trophy trucks professionally, host the Down and Dirty Radio Show, and also travel the country announcing motorsports events. I've seen it all, and trust me, I've done most of it. So when it comes time to relax on the weekend, nothing is better than taking time with my family in our Razor vehicles. They've got the reliability I need to just pick up and go explore the desert dunes or trail and have the capability to attack even the harshest terrain. If you're looking for some of the most reliable and safest and hands-down most capable off-road machines in the world, look no further than Polaris and their award-winning lineup of Razor vehicles. Whether you want your daughter to experience off-road driving for the first time in a Razor 170 like me, take the entire family out in a Razor XP4 1000 on the weekend, or shred the desert and dunes in the all-new Razor XP 1000 Fox Edition, Polaris has you handled. Take my advice and join me and some of the best drivers in the world by driving a Polaris. Polaris Razor. Check out the full Polaris Razor lineup at Polaris.com or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris Razor. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, a 268 horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine, rockets the WRX around corners and down straightaways. A race ready 305 horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine keeps the WRX STI a rally legend. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI. It's not a sibling rivalry. It's a tag team. Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com slash rally. For 100 years, General Tire has provided tires for your lifestyle, your adventure, your anywhere. Born from competition, the Grabber Tire offers the durability and off-road traction you demand in a tire. We put these tires to the test in the harshest off-road racing conditions to give you a tire that will make your anywhere possible. So let us take you on your next big adventure. Tweet us photos at General Tire, hashtag anywhere is possible. Because with General Tire, anywhere is possible. 
As certain as the sun rises and sets around the world, OTSFF Group is dedicated to providing flexible, comprehensive, and reliable transportation solutions. Air transportation, ocean freight, ground transportation, or a combination of services. We offer innovative and custom-built packages specifically designed to meet your transportation needs. OTSFF Group has been keeping shipments moving globally for nearly two decades. OTSFF Group, flexible logistics services designed for you. More information at OTSFF. Looking to have some fun on four wheels? Dirtfish Rally School has you covered. Packing as much adrenaline and adventure as you can handle into high-performance all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive Subaru rally cars is where the fun begins at Dirtfish. Just 30 minutes outside of Seattle and Snoqualmie, you'll get a chance to train up to three full days with some of the country's best instructors and be put through the high-octane rush of rally on mud, dirt, and tarmac. Get started today and call 425-888-7715 or visit us online at dirtfish.com and use code 911 for 15% discount. Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor, Jim Beaver, Amy Hood, holding it down on a Tuesday here online, on a Wednesday in national syndication, or in any time, if you're tuning in on iTunes, make sure and rate, review, and subscribe. Make sure and hit that subscribe button to the Down and Dirty Radio Show, as well as my other show, Project Action, on Podcast One. That's there on iTunes as well. Make sure and uh, subscribe to that. Good stuff going on on both shows. Just dropped a, uh, a, sh- a show I did at the Polaris Razor Dealer Show. Had the Diesel Brothers, Tanner Faust, Ronnie Renner, uh, a bunch of them on on air and uh, that's over on project action we're gonna air a, a portion of it in uh, later on in this show in hour number two some of those interviews so something to look forward to but uh, looking forward to things travis pastrana vegas dorino polaris razor star car um really excited Woo. to get that announcement out it's uh i don't you know it's one of those things like travis has been a friend of mine for a long time i'd say probably in the last year year and a half we've really become pretty good friends um but just because you want Travis to come and race something with you doesn't mean it can happen. And just because Travis wants to race something with you doesn't mean it can happen. Yeah. You know, he is yeah. so busy. He's got so many sponsors, so many obligations. There's so many things. And this was one of those where it's like, all right, who do you want in Star Car? Travis Pastrana. Yeah, everybody would say that, right? But to get – to go through the red tape of actually getting him in the car – um, I have to give credit to Polaris. Uh, Travis really wanted to do it, but uh, uh, Jen Horsey was my publicist. Uh, I mean, they, they worked to miracles to make all this happen. And uh, I mean, not that Travis didn't want to do it. It's just when you're dealing with somebody, you know, I, I hate to use the term celebrity because he's he's one of the most down to earth people you'll ever meet. But, you know, when you're dealing with somebody like that, there's just so much red tape. And I'm just amped to have him coming out to the desert. The last time he did was like three or four years ago at Vegas Arena with Bryce Menzies. Uh, so I don't know. It's pretty, mm-hmm. pretty fun, Hood. I don't know. You've got to know Travis pretty well behind things. I mean, I, I think anybody that meets him, um, he's really the most down to earth, non celebrity celebrity you, I think you'll ever meet, right? Oh, absolutely. And I, and I kind of put him on a pedestal when I never make references and, you know, and talk to people about the industry and about people. And, you know, a lot of people have weird, interesting and skewed views on athletes. And, you know, I'd like to say almost 80% of it is true, but then, and not just athletes, um, you know, celebrities of all calibers, movie stars. And you have to think Travis is not just a celebrity athlete. Like he is a movie star. He's a celebrity businessman. He is, the Travis Pastrana, he will kind of go down in history as just who he is and, and his personality, you know, too. So, um, but yeah, I always hold him to this pedestal of people and I say, you know what? I have faith and hope for other people because of Trav. Like, one of the most decorative and known, you could be walking around anywhere and people would know who he is. And he's always, oh, hey, how's it going? Cracks a smile, down to sound, sign an autograph. Just humble beyond humble. And normal, like for as abnormal as the life that he lives, it's very normal. You know, he lives in the has the same house that he grew up in. You know, in uh, in Maryland, the the Nitro house. You know, all of his buddies and stuff hang out. Very normal family. Amazing wife, two amazing daughters. You know, invites the community to participate in his hometown. You know, has a foam pit open for their kitties and the skate park open for, um, you know, the neighboring the neighboring community and 
just, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just so proud that there's an athlete in motorsports like Travis Pastrana that other people can look up to because, you know, how he's carried his career and himself, I just think, you know, everybody should follow the lines of Travis. And, uh, yeah. and yeah, he just gives a lot of hope for people where <laughs> there's a lot of athletes who kind of maybe go about the wrong things. And we have these 16, 17-year-old 17 motocrossers who think they're, you know, Connor May or Floyd Mayweather, you know, and they're just uh, – the coolest people alive and then you have Travis Pastrana who is the coolest person alive yeah, right that is so yeah. freaking normal yeah well and yeah. That, that's, that's the cool. thing too that you you reach like certain like there's certain statuses of uh of being known or being recognized you He's know the coolest and, person alive. yeah you know and and He's like, <laughs> yeah, like different statuses of being a celebrity or being known. Like I can go to, you yeah. know, pretty much like I can go to an off-road race or a rally race or, you know, certain things like, and people know me, they walk up, Hey, I listen to your show. I do this, but like, I can go to Disneyland. Nobody gives a rip, you know? And, and I, I would assume like you go to yeah. a motocross race and I've seen it at the mint 400. Like people are wanting their picture with Amy hood and stuff like that. But if you were to go to like Disneyland, like there might be somebody that recognizes you, but you can pretty much walk around and, it, you know, nobody's going to, you know, go crazy over you. Travis can't leave his house without somebody knowing who he is. And he can't go to Europe without somebody knowing who he is. He can't go to Japan. I mean, he's global, you know. So when you get to that, like a lot of people, get yeah. they, they go into a shell like a Tom Cruise, you know, where they like they just don't go out in public. You know what I mean? Because they don't want to be bothered. Travis is total opposite. Like he welcomes it. Hey, let's sign autographs. Let's, you know, hey, you, you're my people, you know. And like, I've never seen anything like yeah. that. Like he embraces it. Yeah, he'll go to the middle of a restaurant, you know, in the middle of a bar, um, you know, have a table with all his friends, and you know, not isolate himself to the public and to his fans, and and he's just like a regular dude. And I think it shocks people. Like I think it shocks people how open and normal and down earth he is. But I think also the fact that, you know, he doesn't create this, like, red tape line of, you know, stand by feedback. I don't talk to anybody who's not on my level type of atmosphere. Like, I think people just, you know, respect him so much more and, you know, don't bombard him as much as, you know, a celebrity hiding in the corner would. Like, you know, he makes people feel like they can achieve his level of success, too, because, again, he's so down to earth. He's so normal. And, uh he just he sets such a great example for you know everybody around him it's so cool he's so cool like god he's yeah. the coolest person ever he is <laughs> he's awesome he and, is you know his new dad role and his love for his daughters and his wife and just you know how much love on social media and and everything like he is, just gets cooler he gets cooler every year <laughs> Yeah, well, it was funny, too, because I think there was something where he was gone and then he was back at home, and Lindsay um, was a TV host for the skateboarding at X Games, like, and like, he posted something where he was at home watching the girls while Lindsay was in Minnesota, you know, hosting TV, and they were watching Lindsay on TV or something like that, and I'm like, how rad is that, you know what I mean, like, you know, because he can flip I it and know. totally wear the dad hat anytime, you know, and it's like... Um, I thought that was, so cool. yeah, that was pretty, uh, it was pretty, pretty rad. Uh, speaking of rad things, we got a lot to get to in the next segment too. You got a lot going on hood, yeah. but, uh, episode 300 next week. Um, I need to pull up, I know I've been saying it, but I need to pull up how many episodes Amy's been on air. Cause I guarantee you, you've at least been on 150 of these 300 episodes. Um, but we need to, but I mean, I'm just looking at the guest list so far. So, I mean, I know Travis Pastrana. I texted with him yesterday. Um, he's going to be on next week to talk about Star Car and some other stuff. So we're going to have Trav on. Um, we got Ken Block. Um, he hadn't been on for almost a year on any of my shows. Ken is coming back. I mean, we're talking Mr. Social Media, Ken Block, uh, one of the greatest rally drivers in the world. He's going to be on. Um Man, I don't know, and I, I've got uh, I got emails in to, uh, I mean, some amazing guests that we've had in the past, uh, Courtney Force, I'm trying to get her, um, you know, I know we're trying to get uh, Joey Logano, NASCAR driver, who also is a Polaris Razor guy, we're trying to get the Diesel Brothers, uh, they race Razors, and they've got that amazing TV show, um, so I don't know, we've got a ton of stuff I'm working on, so I'm just telling you, it's three hours of goodness next week on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, I'm amped, Amy and I, we haven't done a three-hour show since the mint 400 like two years ago so i don't know it's uh you better bring your a game next week hood we got a lot to talk about 
Oh, you know it. I'm going to have a busy weekend ahead of me as well. So, you know, I, I always got something to talk about. Yeah, yeah. We, we can fill three hours of time, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, so that's coming up. Uh, man, and we got to, I got to tell you guys about the new Polaris Razors. Uh, we got a lot to talk about in hour number two as far as that. Uh, and coming up in the next segment, uh, Amy's got some big news. And uh, if you guys watch the TV show Ballers on HBO, one of my favorite shows on TV, <laughs> Amy made a cameo appearance. So we're going to talk about that after the break here on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by. Polaris Razor. Hey, I'm RJ Anderson, factory Polaris driver, and I drive Polaris because it's the most capable race ready off road vehicle on the market. When RJ Anderson wanted to set a world record for the longest UTV jump in history, not once but twice, what company did he trust? Polaris and their championship winning Razor XP1000. RJ is a UTV champion behind the wheel of Polaris vehicles, and he exclusively trusts the Polaris Razors to bring him race wins and championships against some of the toughest off-road racers in the world. The same Polaris Razors RJ has won championships in, set world records in, and conquered the wall of death in XP1K2 are available to you at your local Polaris dealer. Take the advice of world record holder R.J. Anderson and visit Polaris on the web at Polaris.com to see the full lineup of Polaris Razor vehicles or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris Razor. Are you looking for a place to push yourself behind the wheel and see how your driving skills stack up? Dirtfish Rally School is that place. Located on 315 acres of pristine automotive playground at the foot of the Cascade Mountains in Snoqualmie, Washington, right outside of Seattle, Dirtfish Rally School is a one-of-a-kind place where everyone from first-time drivers to seasoned professionals like Bucky Lassick and Antoine Lestage can push themselves to their limit. Whether driving the high-performance rally-prepped all-wheel drive Subaru Impreza STI is what you're looking for, or you'd rather hang it all out in the rear-wheel drive Subaru BR Z's, Dirtfish Rally School has something for everyone. Classes are available from two hours to three full days and feature instructors with over 150 years of combined racing experience. Whether you're looking to become the best and get an edge on the competition or just looking to freshen your skills behind the wheel, Dirtfish Rally School is the place to go. For more information on registering for classes, visit Dirtfish on the web at dirtfish.com or to check out the latest happenings from Dirtfish, follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Dirtfish Rally. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, a 268-horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine, rockets the WRX around corners and down straightaways. A race-ready 305-horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine keeps the WRX STI a rally legend. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, it's not a sibling rivalry, it's a tag team. Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com slash rally. Your life demands a tire that provides durability, comfort, and performance, and that's what General Tire delivers for you. From the all-season grip of the Grabber UHP to the comfort and on-road manners of the Grabber HTS to the durability and off-road traction of the Grabber AT2, General has a tire that will help get you where you need to go. So let us take you on your next big adventure. Tweet us at General Tire, hashtag anywhere is possible. Because with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. Jim Beaver, Amy Hood here. Uh, just getting into things, talking a little Travis Pastrana, Polaris Razor Star Car, episode 300, and uh, a whole lot more. we got a lot to talk about with Amy, but i got to give a shout-out, Amy, uh, to a company. Literally, i got no relationship with them. I posted like two weeks ago. Are you familiar with Boxed Water? Basically, it's a, a company that takes bottled water, puts it in like a milk carton, <laughs> Um, a milk carton with a little spout, so uh, so you don't have to drink out of plastic, right? Um, well, mm. yeah. Well, we all know plastic's not exactly the greatest thing to be drinking out of, especially in the heat, because of plastic, like it puts like chemicals and stuff in the water, right? So, box water alleviates that. Plus, it's recyclable. So, anyways, um, 
I bought some of the I, – I've been drinking some of this water recently. They started carrying it here locally, and I just posted something because they got a good mission statement. The more you drink, like um, like for every two bottles um, that is sold, they plant a tree. And I, there's just some good stuff about this company. So I posted something uh, because, I one, I like the water, but, two, you know, it's healthier, you know, and then, you know, and then they've got a good mission. But I posted something to social media, literally – had uh i've got no relationship with the company didn't know anybody at the company but i tagged them and then i used the hashtag that way they'd plant plant some trees right um you know when you use certain hashtag they'll plant a tree for you or whatever so um i did that anyways uh they sent me a dm and all of a sudden uh into last week i get a crate show up and i got a bunch of boxed water in it the company sent me out a bunch of free water uh so which was super rad yeah so uh they just said thanks yeah, but uh, super rad, um, you know, and, and especially somebody like you, I know you're really, you know, where, you know, you you really concentrate on healthy living and things like that. And I mean, I just know here in Arizona, it's actually something people drink a lot out of glass containers and things like that because the heat and the plastic, it literally, uh, the chemicals in the plastic start um, at, at a certain temperature, they start, uh, the, the plastic starts breaking down and you get those chemicals in the water so it doesn't happen with box water but anyways just thought i'd give the company a shout out um because uh, they've got a rad mission statement and uh, they sent me a bunch of free water which is nice um so yeah check them out boxed water i think the website is um pretty much just uh what is it it's uh boxwaterisbetter.com so there you go um but uh yeah awesome. i'm definitely gonna have to connect with them about my motocross school yeah, no, they're super rad and they're they're growing like crazy. So, uh, um, yeah, um, definitely follow them. They're really active on Instagram and Twitter too. So, um, but uh, yeah, um, so funny story. Sunday night, I'm uh, watching TV. I'm watching Game of Thrones. Big fan of Game of Thrones. And then uh, after that, I watch Ballers. Both of them come on on Sunday nights, right? Uh, Ballers with the Rock, uh, one of my favorite shows on TV, really good, um, you know, and I'm not going to get into the storylines, but anyways, they're in Las Vegas, and the Rock, all of a sudden, he's trying to pitch this NFL team to uh, the people in Vegas, so they decide to go to the Monster Jam World Finals, like, oh, that's kind of rad. Um, then all of a sudden they got, uh, some clips and here's grave digger doing something. And then all of a sudden here comes a zombie truck jumping over these cars. And I'm like, what? There's a rock. There's a zombie truck. What's going on here? And well, we all know there's a couple of zombie trucks, but I go, this one looks familiar. So I pause it. All of a sudden there's this big Amy hood flag flying out the back and it says Amy hood on the side of the zombie truck. So Amy, you're making cameo appearances on HBO with a rock. I mean, that's, uh, that's pretty big stuff there, hood. Well, first off, I had no idea until you told me. Um, I, I don't really watch TV. I never really have time to sit down. And if I do, I'm watching some weird documentary. Um, you know, edge of the myself. But, um, yeah, I've heard all about it. I've seen a lot of the Monster Jam people posting up about it. Um, the Rock was there in Vegas. Um, we unfortunately didn't get to meet him because he had a family emergency. But um, it's The Rock. He is my one hall pass for life if you know what i mean i love him <laughs> amazing guy it's he's everybody's hall pass men and women alike uh yeah <laughs> and, oh, oh. it's the rock anyway so yeah. um yeah i had no idea until jim called me and was like hey i'm watching ballers i'm like yeah yeah i know and you know monster jam's in it driving max b no you're in it and jim you still have to record that video for me on your phone like i was waiting all night i was hyping it up to all my friends I didn't get a video, but, uh, you know, I'm about to change my Instagram to, uh, you know, as seen in ballers for 1.2 seconds. Uh, (laughs) yeah, you know, going to start to charge for appearances and everything, but I made HBO. I made it in with the rock life is good yeah so you need <laughs> to see it at least i'm gonna say instead of sending because i didn't i didn't record it to tv i've got an app on my ipad or hbo go and i would give you my login password except for you're in canada so they're gonna shut you out um but i would uh that way you could go in and watch it but i i took a screenshot of it and literally um the screenshot turned black for some reason um, so I, I literally screenshotted You're it. Lying. You just didn't do it. No, I swear. I'll text you a picture of the screenshot right now. You're going to go, oh, what the heck? So I need to, I need to figure out what's going on. I need to maybe take an actual picture of the screen instead of screenshotting it or something. But something weird happened. Um, but... I need to get like a little video clip so I can record it on my phone and post it on my Instagram. And that's going to be my new claim to fame 
for my the rest of my entire life. <laughs> yeah. So I I thought it was pretty rad. I mean, okay, uh, moving forward. Yeah. What's that? I said no. Well, like on to the next thing because I haven't even seen it, so I don't even know how good it is. All I'm right. Well, you were jumping. Let's put it that way. At least at least you were doing something rad. But. Yeah. Uh, yeah, moving on. How was your weekend? I know you got some stuff to talk about. What's uh, what's happening in Hoodland? Yeah, well, I mean, I had uh, came out of retirement this weekend and had one of my first races back in Manitoba in my hometown. And uh, I, I had a borrowed bike, ain't feeling Black Betty, you know, riding a two-stroke from riding a four-stroke my whole life. I As soon as I went to big bikes, I was on a four-stroke. So learning to ride a two-stroke and not just a 125, but a 250 with a brand-new engine is extremely difficult. It's like learning how to ride all over again. I was going to say, that's extremely challenging. It's constant uh, power on a four-stroke. It's It's got to be weird. I'm used to the engine breaking into the corners, and that's been kind of my biggest fallback is you know my corner speed is kind of where my like coming into the corners and it's always been my uh, you know kind of my specialty and a lot of people love to ride the brakes or I just love to come in you know slam corners and, and blast through them on my on my four strokes and I am blowing every corner and every berm and I just look like a total goon riding that riding my two stroke um you know I just need a little bit more time on it to kind of get accom- uh, accustomed to it so luckily my dad's friend who I've known since I was a baby. Um, I let him borrow my bike, you know, a couple times back in the day if I wasn't in Canada. And now he got a brand new 2016 with like 36 minutes on it, uh, a Yamaha. Let me borrow it for the race. And, um, you know, I went, I went one, one, it was awesome. You know, had no endurance at all, actually had to try really hard. (laughs) But the best thing about this weekend, I don't know if you guys follow me on social media, but I made a post, um, you know, I spent the weekend really focused on my kids who come to my motocross school. I had about 20 there and, uh, you know, a whole bunch more who I used to come back in the day. I spent the whole weekend, gym running around the track like a crazy moto parent after all my kids cheering them on, picking them up, starting their bikes on the starting line. Like, it was so funny. Me and the mom just... You know, there's one aisle in the track where, you know, to the left is a corner, to the right is straight away, and we're running back and forth, making sure we can cheer everyone on. Like, it was the best weekend ever, and my kids did so good. One of them won their first race ever, won first uh, weekend on a 65 and had the best finish, you know, thus far. And it was so meaningful to me to be able to not just, you know, go teach them on a, on a weekday, but be able to support them at the track and at the races. It it was, I don't know, I just, I can't wait to have my own kitties now. And, you know, I, I just, it gets so much gratification over watching how happy they are and how happy their parents are. And, um, you know, to feel like I played a little role in that is just, oh, I mean, no greater feeling ever. That's, I feel so satisfied. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, and I know, like, from the pictures you posted, and I've seen you with kids, you know, in person and things like that, like, you get a glow about you when kids are around and things like that. You're you're very much, like, you, you enjoy having kids, teaching kids, you know what I mean? Like, that's, you know what I mean? That, that's kind of your jam. Like, you, you really enjoy that, you know? And I know Monster Jam's the same way. I've seen you at the Mint 400 when little girls come up and things like that. Like, you're in your element then, you know? It's it's all about the kids, and I think that's, that's really, really rad because a lot of people, they get nervous nervous around kids, you know, and, and things like that. And you're totally opposite. Like you just go to them. You're like, all right, come on. It's funny. Cause like, I can't even imagine quite yet, like having kids of my own. Like I'm, I know I'm not ready for that, but it's something different about like moto kids. Like they're cool. They're, they have such a, you know, it takes a, it takes a special kind of person to be able to ride a dirt bike, to be able to fall down you know, as a four-year-old, wipe out on a dirt bike and be able to pick yourself back up and, you know, get back on. And um, they're really cool kids. And that type of character can be really molded into such strong individuals with the right type of coaching and mentoring and positive reinforcement. And I think that's the best thing is, you know, when one of my kids falls down and you can look at them and they're starting to tear up, you know, I run over them and I'm like, are you okay? you know, making sure first and foremost that they're, they're okay and, and not injured. And then you can see that the waterworks are coming, you know, 
And I'm like, that was so awesome. Like, you just took the gnarliest wipe out and you, and you got back up and you're fine. Like, high five, fist bump. And their attitude completely changes. Like, I feel like I have a great way of, you know, helping them find their confidence. And, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's something I feel like I'm really good at. And I'm really excited. And I'm really excited to announce that I have now partnered with FXR, my hometown um, apparel company. So FXR, obviously, huge in snowmobiles in the snow scene. Um, you know, their motocross line is, is equally as huge. Um, you know, global company, unreal what they're really doing and, you know, where they started from. I was one of the – my dad and I were actually, like, the first people to actually start wearing FXR gear years ago. Yeah, your dad and the um, owner go way back, right? Oh, way back. Like, I've known, you know, Milton and my dad have raced together for years and, you know, in their entire career. And, you know, when his grand, or his his parents were sewing the FXR logos onto the gear in the basement, you know, that was how way back yeah. that we go. But, you know, Milton's really big about the community and, and, you know, investing in the future generation of riders. And, you know, they, they supported me in a huge way where they're helping me, um, you know, I'm having a school in Calgary at Wild Rose at the national track in two weeks. I'm going down to the States this weekend. Uh, they're providing, you know, swag, shirts, hats, gear, everything and anything for, you know, every one of my schools, for every one of the kids. And such a great relationship. Super cool to have them on board, and I can't be happier. But, uh, yeah, so if you guys tuning in and listening, my schools are going to be traveling all over North America in the next couple months. Um, you know, obviously working with Monster Jam, but, um, you know, my summer seasons are for dirt bikes, and I'm really excited to be able to take my school elsewhere. So all right. stay tuned. Stay tuned to my Facebook and my Instagram. Sounds good. Well, we okay. got to take a short break, but when we come back, we got Jared Mees, part of the Indian Wrecking Crew, and a gold medalist at X Games last year. He's going to be on the line here on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. I'm Polaris rider Jim Beaver. I race trophy trucks professionally, host a down and dirty radio show, and also travel the country announcing motorsports events. I've seen it all, and trust me, I've done most of it. So when it comes time to relax on the weekend, nothing is better than taking time with my family in our Razor vehicles. They've got the reliability I need to just pick up and go explore the desert dunes or trail and have the capability to attack even the harshest terrain. If you're looking for some of the most reliable and safest and hands down most capable off-road machines in the world, look no further than Polaris and their award-winning lineup of Razor vehicles. Whether you want your daughter to experience off-road driving for the first time in a Razor 170 like me, take the entire family out in a Razor XP4 1000 on the weekend, or shred the desert and dunes in the all-new Razor XP1000 Fox Edition, Polaris has you handled. Take my advice and join me and some of the best drivers in the world by driving a Polaris Razor. Check out the full Polaris Razor lineup at Polaris.com or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris Razor. Your life demands a tire that provides durability, comfort, and performance, and that's what General Tire delivers for you. From the all-season grip of the Grabber UHP to the comfort and on-road manners of the Grabber HTS to the durability and off-road traction of the Grabber AT2, General has a tire that will help get you where you need to go. So let us take you on your next big adventure. Tweet us at General Tire, hashtag anywhere is possible, because with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Since 1970, Casey Highlights has been designing and manufacturing performance lighting for off-road and motorsports, beginning with the legendary Daylighter up until today's revolutionary Flex, Pod, and Pro 6 lighting systems. Casey Highlights offers a full line of halogen, HID, and LED lighting solutions for your off-road vehicle. Looking for the best quality lighting? Looking for the brand champions choose? You're looking for KC Highlights. Find out more information at kchighlights.com or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at KC highlights the subaru wrx and wrx sti a 268 horsepower turbocharged subaru boxer engine rockets the wrx around corners and down straightaways a race ready 305 horsepower turbocharged subaru boxer engine keeps the wrx sti a rally legend the subaru wrx and wrx sti it's not a sibling rivalry it's a tag team Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com slash rally. Life is all about sound. The sound of sports. The sound of the racetrack. 
and the sound of your vehicle. Don't drive around listening to this. Drive around listening to the sound of performance. Gibson Performance. Gibson Performance Exhaust is the company who can turn this into this. Remember that life is all about sound, and Gibson Exhaust is the sound of performance. Check out your next catback exhaust system, headers, muffler, or UTV exhaust at GibsonPerformance.com and get more power and more sound. Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. Jim Beaver and Amy Hood here holding it down. I'd like to welcome my next guest to the line, a uh, member of the Indian Wrecking Crew. I was able to uh, run into him out at the Polaris Dealer Show. Jared Mees, welcome to the show, my friend. Hello. How are you guys doing? Good, man, good. Awesome. Yeah, um... Yeah, good to see you. Uh, good to meet you in person out there at the dealer show. I, I was kind of digging the dealer show. I, I hadn't been to one yet, and uh, I missed the one last year in Tennessee. But uh, I, w- I thought it was really rad that they kind of brought all the divisions of Polaris under one roof because I got to see, you know, I, I get to see all the Razor stuff all day, you know, all day long, you know, because I'm an athlete there. But um, getting, you know, to meet you guys on the Indian side of things, getting to see all the Indian models, like I thought that was pretty pretty rad because I'm not normally exposed to that side of, you know, of Polaris. So I don't know how how are you guys feeling about that? I'm sure you got to see some stuff that you guys don't normally get to see too. Yeah, totally. It was um it was our first time actually being at one of the dealer shows as well, and uh, you know I thought they did a first class job with everything. I mean it was cool to be, you know, in Vegas. Uh, you definitely stepped outside and it was warm, but um, <laughs> it's always cool to go to Vegas and hang out there. And uh, you know I've sat in a lot of the the big presentations and meetings for the dealers, and it was you know it's it's really awesome to see how great Polaris is doing as a whole company, um, how far they're up above the, all the other manufacturers with everything and see how far uh, Indians, you know, strided, uh, strided to be best. So it's, um, it was good. I, I had a lot of fun. It was uh, a lot of knowledge there that I learned and, you know, I, the business side of things and listening to a couple salesman approaches and things like that, it was good. So uh, I had a lot of fun and learned a lot. Yeah, I got to tell you, they I saw they're making a, a limited edition bike, only fifty of them, and it's uh, like it was all carbon fiber. It was a full blown flat track bike. It was like fifty grand, uh, but I guess if they buy it, they get uh, they get lessons with one of you guys, either you or. Uh, you or uh, I think Baker or Smith, right? But I saw that and I was like, man, this is insane. Like if I had 50 grand, I know what I was spending it on. But uh, I think it's pretty cool that what you guys are doing on the flat track side of things has been received so well that now they're actually producing one of those bikes, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's been a long time since uh, a manufacturer actually provided like a, a full race bike ready to go like that, um, you know, in the sport, we race against the Kawasaki's, the Yamaha's, you know, the XR750. And basically, everybody's taken, like, the engine and then building everything around it. And everything is custom, one-off made and built. Um, you know, and that's what r- makes a flat track bike so very unique. Uh, Indian Motorcycle went, well, we'll just make this motorcycle ready to go as is. And uh, mm-hmm. I know, you know, it's uh, it's it's a great motorcycle. They took their time. They 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 made the state of the art modern flat track motorcycle and, you know, it comes equipped with the S and S exhaust and, you know, the rolling sands wheels. So, uh, it's got a lot of really great features and a lot of the same components as the factory bikes. I mean, really that motorcycle that's sitting there with a couple final touches of just making, you know, each rider comfortable, it's what we're racing on the racetrack today. So, uh, you know, hats off for Indian to provide, other riders and racers and, you know, people that uh, just want to buy one and, and stare at it in their dealership, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. Well, how do you feel? I mean, you know, you've been around the flat track business a long time. I mean, four-time champ, and we, we'll get into, you know, currently, you know, what you're doing on track. But you've been around the sport for a long time. I mean, how do you feel the past couple of years? I mean, even before it jumped into X Games, I felt like flat track was on the upswing. And then it seems like X Games hit, and you guys, the past couple of years, I mean, this thing's just blown through the roof. I mean, you know, kind of there for a while, it was kind of like a, a niche, and people knew about it, you know, but Supercross was always kind of the big deal, right, in the motorcycle industry. And now it seems like here in the United States, like flat track, man, you guys are elevating the game. I mean, are you feeling that, that your sport's on the upswing right now? 
Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, the, the sport's been on the upswing the last couple of years, and I would say it really hit a big ball with, uh, with Indian Motorcycle coming in and making a modern-day purpose-built flat-track motorcycle and, uh, you know, making everybody kind of step to their game, especially Harley Davidson. I mean, you've seen Harley come out the last few years with one rider, you know, in a, in a small show hauler and uh, always had a decent presence in the sport. Well, then here comes Indian Motorcycle with his purpose-built flat track engine, and Harley Davidson's pulling in with a three-rider team and a semi. So it's, uh, it's good to see that, you know, I feel Indians come in and really raise the bar uh, with everything and everyone in the sport. And, um, yeah, you know, we have NBC sports now. So, uh, starting back in July, we're on every week, once a week, uh, for an hour. And, um, I think that's been very good. And, uh, you know, the people at American flat track are very, you know, very aesthetic to, to get things going to the next level. And, um, it's, uh, it's great. I mean, a lot of things have been playing a big part of it. You know, the super prestigio over in Spain, uh, with Mark Marquez, of course, Valentino Rossi doing a lot of the, the training and things and, um, on the motorcycle and, you know, uh, you know, Nicky Hayden, I know he's, you know, you know, God rest his soul. Uh, you know, he's done a lot of things for flat track as well with, with training with flat track and coming from flat track. So he's always been a big, big enthusiast about it. So a lot of, a lot of people, you know, playing a big toll in why flat tracks go in the right direction. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know if anybody can actually put their finger on it, but whatever is going, I hope it continues to grow and, and, and continue going the same way it's going. Yeah, well, speaking of the same way, man, I know uh, you got, you've got you got a bunch of championships to your name, but we got to talk about right now. I mean, you, it seems like, you know, Indian as a whole, you guys have all kind of kind of really hit your stride this year. But you, I mean, what it's four out of the last five events you've won. I know at X Games, I mean, you had a gold last year. You took a silver this year. I mean, you got to be pretty excited with the momentum you've got building and, and currently got the championship lead right now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um you know, we've done a lot of things already this season that I've kind of checked off my bucket list. You know, I was able to complete my Grand Slam, and then I was also able to get the Grand Slam in one season, which I think I was the fourth or the fifth rider ever to do that. So to do that the very first year out on the FTR just shows, you know, how versatile the motorcycle can be. Um, you know, any any racetrack we throw at the thing, it seems to be very competitive, so that's that's awesome. And uh, it's been a great year. It's been a good year. Um, you know, we want to continue the success we're doing, and we're honestly not going to be satisfied until the number one plate's back on our motorcycle. And, uh, you know, the, the game's not over yet. We still have um, seven races to go, and anything can happen in those seven races. I've had this kind of a point lead before, and then in the next race, lost it all. So uh, just got to try to keep moving forward. You know, we're moving on to uh, a TT racetrack this coming weekend at the Buffalo Chip, uh, presented by Indian Motorcycle. And looking forward to that. That's going to be very technical and unique. And uh, first time we've ever raced there. The racetrack that I've seen has been something that I've never raced on ever. So uh, I believe we take off the starting line and turn right. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> that's new for us. And then we go to... Uh, the Rapid City Half Mile, and then to the Peoria TT. So next week is a very busy week. We have three Grand National flat track races uh, in one week. So uh, definitely going to be looking forward to the two-week break after Peoria, and then we roll into the rest of the season. So, uh, yeah, it's been good. Yeah, when I heard uh, Peoria this year, right, you guys – Traditionally, you guys kind of run, uh, you know, basically a, d a dirt bike, you know what I mean, kind of converted to a flat track because of the jump there and that. Or this year, they, that's banned, right? You've got to actually run your flat track bikes there, correct? Yeah, you got it. We um, make a few modifications with the bike to get me a little bit more comfortable, but basically the motorcycle that I raced this past weekend is the bike that I race on the TTs, like the Buffalo Chef, Peoria, and Daytona. So, uh yeah, it's very similar motorcycle, and we got to run it everywhere. So, uh, and and it works good. You know, it works pretty damn good to jump it, even though we don't have very much travel. So, yeah, it's it's like I, I kind of dig it, man. It's like old school, right? I mean, it, it's like full on like stuntman style. I think it's I I, I kind of I kind you know I I know as a racer, you guys are like you know you probably I I don't know how you feel about it, but I think it's just kind of cool. It's a little bit of a throwback there, you know. Yeah, definitely. I mean, five years ago, if somebody would have said, 
you know, you're going to jump a twin on the TT, I would have said, yeah, never, never in a million <laughs> years. And then <laughs> a million years came quick, you know. So uh, history, history repeats itself, perfect example. Yeah, no kidding, man. Well, here's a question for you. I mean, how does one go down the flat track route? I mean, I mean, I know Amy too. Like, she's got a bunch of kids, and she does motocross schools, you know, and they're four and five, and, you know, all they want to be is an ex Ryan Dungey, right? Um, but, I mean, as a kid growing up, I mean, how do you go down that flat track route? I mean, what drew you there, and, and how did that I gateway open? What's that, Amy? And, Jim, I definitely I think one um, of my little kids who wants to be a flat tracker. We have a flat, you know, a little beginner flat track um, course here. And all he wants to do on his PW is rip that flat tracking course. So Jared, look out. He's coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, if they're that young, for sure, the PW 50 seems to be like the, the motorcycle to start everybody off, whether it's motocross or flat track. And then, <laughs> you know, you come up through the ranks with the 65 and the 80 and things like that. Um, and you just kind of, you know, I think mostly all the states have got some sort of a local flat track area, um, you know, but American Motorcycles Association is a great place to get started with and, you know, st running some of their events. But, you know, if you're, you know, someone that's 15, 16 on up and you want to just kind of start sliding around on your flat track bike, the best, quickest solution is to kind of, you know, do what the GNC singles guys do. And that's to take like your basic 450 Honda or, or Yamaha Kawasaki 450 base bike or 250 and get your suspension lowered a little bit. And then you just put 19 inch wheels on it front and back, which it comes already stock standard with uh, a 19 inch rear wheel. Um, typically guys go to a little bit wider of a width, but other than that, you can, you know, very basically you can get a front wheel, lower your suspension down a little bit and basically start riding some flat track and sliding around. And then of course, from there, there's lots of upgrades to do to the, to the four fifties, as far as making them more powerful and exhaust and then wider wheels and triple clamps and things like that. But a very basic bike, you know, if you already have a, mm -hmm. uh, a four fifty of some sort, I would say within a thousand to $1,500 max, you could be able to, you know, slide around on a, on a flat track so-called bike. Yeah, well, and I think that's cool, you know, that that there's, you know, you can almost, you know, talk about the ladder system there. And there's, like Amy said, you know, it's a cool thing now. You got kids that are five years old that are wanting to become a flat tracker. And I think that's what's really yeah. cool. And that's, you know, 10 years out, you know, down the road, that's really going to make for a healthy sport when you've got these kids coming in that are really wanting to go the flat track route instead of, say, motocross. You know, I think that's, uh, it's going to be good things for, for the sport of flat track in the years to come. Yeah, I agree with you there. I think, um, you know, I, I think flat track's the best I've ever seen it in my, in my time as far as, you know, coming in in 2002 until now. Um, it's the best that I've seen it for sure. You know, of course, back in the day with the Camel Pro type of things in the 1980s and early 90s, you know, I think flat track was, was at its best, you know, ever then. But uh, since then, we've had Supercross take off and you know, road racing and things like that. But now flat track is starting to come back pretty popular. And, you know, I, I never thought I'd be able to say this, but I believe American flat track is in a better state right now than American road racing. And, uh, I never, would, yep. I never would have thought I'd think that. Yeah, that's a, that's a big statement, and I, I completely agree with you. I think yeah, I, it is. I think it was uh, what was it Josh Heron a while back? We had that conversation with him, and it, it's just uh, it's an interesting spot for the sport right now. But uh, definitely good things for the guys that are in it. But uh, I appreciate you taking the time, Jared, to call in. Uh, you know, congrats on the streak. Uh, you know, congrats on uh, silver medal at X Games, man. And uh, you know, hopefully uh, we can see you back with a gold one around your neck uh, next year. And uh, you know, in that number one plate on your bike. Yeah, man. Thanks a lot for the time, and uh, take care. Enjoy the rest of the summer. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah, you too. Good luck. All right. That was Jared Mees, and we're going to take a short break here on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. Hey, I'm RJ Anderson, factory Polaris driver, and I drive Polaris because it's the most capable, race-ready off-road vehicle on the market. When R.J. Anderson wanted to set a world record for the longest UTV jump in history, not once but twice, what company did he trust? Polaris and their championship-winning Razor XP1000. 
RJ is a UTV champion behind the wheel of Polaris vehicles, and he exclusively trusts the Polaris Razors to bring him race wins and championships against some of the toughest off-road racers in the world. The same Polaris Razors RJ has won championships in, set world records in, and conquered the wall of death in XP1K2 are available to you at your local Polaris dealer. Take the advice of world record holder RJ Anderson and visit Polaris on the web at Polaris.com to see the full lineup of Polaris Razor vehicles or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris Razor. Do you race or are you a weekend warrior? Have you checked on the date on your helmet recently? Don't get caught off guard by using an outdated helmet. Impact Racing, the leader in motorsport safety, has new SA 2015 helmets to fit your budget. Whether you're looking for a helmet with a full carbon fiber shell to take you to victory at the Indy 500, or just looking for some helmets for a weekend at Glamis, Impact Racing has a helmet for you. Find out more information at impactraceproducts.com or on Facebook at Impact Safety. Treasure is at Blue Water Resort and Casino for a chance to grab $2,500 in cash through August 30th. Sundays from 3 to 5 and Wednesdays from 6 to 8 p.m. Participants are drawn for a chance to enter the Twister of Treasure money machine. Count me in to enter the Twister of Treasure for a chance to grab the cash. Blue Water Resort and Casino. Right on the water. Right on the money. MMA at its best, and it's back. It's the RUF 21. Live cage fights on the river in the Blue Water Resort and Casino Showroom. Saturday, September 9th, see Armando Murillo versus Daviante Jones. Live for the title. Doors open at 6 p.m. Get your $25 ringside tickets now. General admission, just $15. Tickets available online or at the gift shop. Live cage fights on the river. Blue Water Resort and Casino. Right on the Your life demands a tire that provides durability, comfort, and performance, and that's what General Tire delivers for you. From the all-season grip of the Grabber UHP to the comfort and on-road manners of the Grabber HTS to the durability and off-road traction of the Grabber AT2, General has a tire that will help get you where you need to go. So let us take you on your next big adventure. Tweet us at General Tire, hashtag anywhere is possible, because with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. Jim Beaver, Amy Hood here, getting ready to kick off a Dirtfish Rally Report for this week, brought to you by our good friends at Dirtfish Rally School. Find out more information on the web at www.dirtfish.com. Don't forget to use that coupon code JBDIRTFISH for 15% off your classes at Dirtfish Rally School. And uh, speaking of rally, uh, this is the Dirtfish Rally Report, and uh, we've got uh, uh, some, I don't know, we didn't have any rally events this past weekend, but uh, uh, we do have one coming up, a very big one this weekend, World Rallycross making its lone North American uh, stop at uh, Troy Rivers in Canada. And uh, looking forward to that event this weekend. Um, I, I I talked to the Hoonigan guys. I had a chance to go up there. I've just got too darn much going, but I think it's one I'm going to dial in next year. But the World Rallycross, anytime it comes to your country, it's a big deal. But uh, they're in Canada. Uh, kicks off here in a couple of days. Um, should be an amazing event up there. You can watch the live stream. I know they've got some TV on one of those weird channels on, on like Direct TV channel like 976 or something. Um, but I don't know. But uh, anyways, they've got a live stream too. You can tune into that. But uh, FI World Rallycross Championship in action this weekend in Canada. We've always got a couple of uh, guys from the United States that make their trip up there and uh, run. So I'm kind of excited to see um, – what this entry list looks like as things uh, as things progress, but uh, it should be uh, an amazing event up there in Canada. And don't forget, uh, we've got Subaru Launch Control. It's been dropping every Wednesdays, um, you know, on YouTube as well as Facebook. So make sure and tune into those. But uh, we're going to take a short break. We come back. Uh, we got a lot coming up in hour number two here on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. 
I'm Polaris rider Jim Beaver. I race trophy trucks professionally, host a down and dirty radio show, and also travel the country announcing motorsports events. I've seen it all, and trust me, I've done most of it. So when it comes time to relax on the weekend, nothing is better than taking time with my family in our Razor vehicles. They've got the reliability I need to just pick up and go explore the desert dunes or trail and have the capability to attack even the harshest terrain. If you're looking for some of the most reliable and safest and hands down most capable off-road machines in the world, look no further than Polaris and their award-winning lineup of Razor vehicles. Whether you want your daughter to experience off-road driving for the first time in a Razor 170 like me, take the entire family out in a Razor XP4 1000 on the weekend, or shred the desert and dunes in the all-new Razor XP1000 Fox Edition, Polaris has you handled. Take my advice and join me and some of the best drivers in the world by driving a Polaris Razor. Check out the full Polaris Razor lineup at Polaris.com or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris Razor. Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. Kicking off hour number two, coming up in hour number two. Uh, here, uh, about six minutes out, we've got uh, Joe Duncan calling in, but he's got Andy Ives from Polaris Razor Corporate. He's going to be on the line as well. We're going to be talking about the new 2018 Polaris Razor XP Turbo with Dynamics Suspension. I got to tell you, just an amazing, amazing uh, new product from Polaris. Adaptive suspension, electronically controlled, and it can basically tune to your ride as you drive. It's got sensors in the steering. It's got sensors in the brakes. It's got sensor, throttle position sensors all tied into the ECU. It's got uh, um, it's got sensors on each of the shocks, and it can tell. Uh, it's got sensors on the brakes. It literally can tell everything you're doing in the car and adapt the suspension to what you're going through. Got a chance to test drive one, put some miles on it. And I got to tell you, I've never driven uh, stock UTV quite like this. Uh, I think you guys are going to absolutely love it. It's definitely something to check out, but stoked to have Andy Ives coming up to talk about that. And then we also got Sarah Price. Uh, she's coming up in this hour as well. Lots to talk about with Miss Sarah Price. And uh, don't forget, we've got uh, Project Action. That is happening uh, every single week over there on Podcast One. Uh, make sure and tune in uh, there at podcastone.com or at uh, the Down and Dirty Radio Show website. And you can also uh, make sure and go over to iTunes and rate, review, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to both Project Action and the Down and Dirty Radio Show on iTunes. Helps us out. And uh, if you leave a review and you leave a rating in the body of the review, if you leave your Twitter, Instagram, at username, I see that. I will follow you back on social media. So if you want to follow from me, it's the easiest way to get it. And, um, yeah, don't forget to uh, check out during these commercial breaks. Why don't you skip over to Facebook? Check out uh, that new video we dropped with Travis Pastrana for uh, for the Razor Star Car. I think, uh, I think it's definitely, definitely uh, worth the watch. Uh, Travis is Travis, and uh, I think you guys are uh, definitely going to uh, enjoy that. He's always got his own spin to put on things, so... Uh, Travis can't just, uh, you can't just do something normal. So I think it, uh, definitely makes things interesting, but we got to take a short break. We come back. Uh, we got Joe Duncan and Andy Ives from Polaris Razor Corporate. They're going to be on the line here on the Down and Dirty Radio Show powered by Polaris Razor. I'm Polaris rider Jim Beaver. I race trophy trucks professionally, host a down and dirty radio show, and also travel the country announcing motorsports events. I've seen it all, and trust me, I've done most of it. So when it comes time to relax on the weekend, nothing is better than taking time with my family in our Razor vehicles. They've got the reliability I need to just pick up and go explore the desert dunes or trail and have the capability to attack even the harshest terrain. If you're looking for some of the most reliable and safest and hands down most capable off-road machines in the world, look no further than Polaris and their award-winning lineup of Razor vehicles. Whether you want your daughter to experience off-road driving for the first time in a Razor 170 like me, take the entire family out in a Razor XP4 1000 on the weekend, or shred the desert and dunes in the all-new Razor XP1000 Fox Edition, Polaris has you handled. Take my advice and join me and some of the best drivers in the world by driving a Polaris Razor. Check out the full Polaris Razor lineup at Polaris.com or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris. Polaris Razor.
For 100 years, General Tire has provided tires for your lifestyle, your adventure, your anywhere. Born from competition, the Grabber Tire offers the durability and off-road traction you demand in a tire. We put these tires to the test in the harshest off-road racing conditions to give you a tire that will make your anywhere possible. So let us take you on your next big adventure. Tweet us photos at General Tire, hashtag anywhere is possible. Because with General Tire, anywhere is possible. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, a 268 horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine, rockets the WRX around corners and down straightaways. A race ready 305 horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine keeps the WRX STI a rally legend. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, it's not a sibling rivalry, it's a tag team. Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com slash rally. Looking to have some fun on four wheels? Dirtfish Rally School has you covered. Packing as much adrenaline and adventure as you can handle into high-performance all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive Subaru Rally cars is where the fun begins at Dirtfish. Just 30 minutes outside of Seattle and Snoqualmie, you'll get a chance to train up to three full days with some of the country's best instructors and be put through the high-octane rush of rally on mud, dirt, and tarmac. Get started today and call 425-888-7715 or visit us online at dirtfish.com and use code 911 for a 15% discount. MMA at its best, and it's back. It's, it's the RUF 21. Live cage fights on the river in the Blue Water Resort and Casino Showroom. Saturday, September 9th. See Armando Murillo versus Daviante Jones. Live for the title. Doors open at 6 p.m. Get your $25 ringside tickets now. General admission, just $15. Tickets available online or at the gift shop. Live cage fights on the river. Blue Water Resort and Casino. Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. Jim Beaver, Amy Hood here. This is our Terracross Starts with Optimus segment, brought to you by our good friends at Optimus Starters, starting every Razor in the Terracross Championship Series. And uh, we got Joe Duncan, and it looks like Andy Ives on the line. Maybe both of you, maybe one of you. What's uh, who, who do we have on the line here with Jim Beaver and Amy Hood? Who's there? You got Andy here for sure. All right. Well, we got we got the right one anyways, right, Andy? We, I don't know about Joe, but we got Andy Ives, so we're good. <laughs> yeah, the more important one for yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it was good seeing you out at the Polaris dealer show. It's funny because uh, I, I, was just, we, I just had Jared Mees on air uh, before you. And, uh, you know, obviously he's one of the Indian wrecking crew. And that uh, was kind of cool. Like, I felt like I got a very good vision of Polaris as a whole at the dealer show this year. And, and me said the same thing because he's on the Indian side. And he's like, I didn't know all this stuff on the Razor side was even going on. And, he, and I was kind of the same way. Like, I knew about flat track and stuff like that. But I feel like after leaving that show as a, as a Polaris athlete, I have a really good view of of uh, of the entire business you know what i mean and and i i i don't know i felt like i took a lot away not only that but we got an amazing new razor with dynamic suspension to talk about but i don't know i think you guys as corporate polaris did a really good job of giving everybody kind of the full vision of the company yeah it's good to hear i mean a lot of guys that don't know polaris as a whole i mean we go all the way back from on-road off-road snow you know with timber sled and, and all the other aftermarket companies we own a lot of people don't know that we own climb and uh, Colpin and all those are aftermarket uh, companies, you know, Pro Armor as well. So Polaris as a whole is a, is a pretty big company supporting a lot of different avenues and in, in off-road. And then we also picked up Trans-American Auto Parts here a year and a half ago. Uh, so the dealerships with four-wheel parts um, with Greg Geidler and those guys, even more so, you know, making the, the Polaris family even that much bigger and better from an off-road perspective. Yeah, it was, you know, and that was another thing, Climb. I did, I've did. i known about Climb forever. I've got Climb, you know, I've got Climb gear, and I didn't realize it was actually a Polaris Stone company. And all of a sudden I'm at the show and meet a guy from Climb, and I'm like, oh, wow. Like, you know, they had that big graphic on the screen at the thing, and it showed all the brands Polaris Stone. I'm like, wow. Like, uh, you know, I, I thought I knew a lot about Polaris, but I didn't until I left that show. But uh, uh, one thing I did learn a lot about was this new dynamic suspension, man. And I know you were telling some people about it. You got to kind of 
to show it to people. I got a chance to drive that thing for uh, for a couple hours out in the desert. I got to tell you, Andy, this thing, you know, we keep throwing around the word game changer, but I've never really driven anything like that. I, it's a tremendous. I mean, and you know more about it than I do, but that suspension, man, that is, you know, that is an evolution of the side-by-side. Yeah, for sure. I mean, a lot of people that don't know about dynamics, it's hard to, you know, just look online and understand what the suspension is all about. But it really is a, a truly, you know, smart, intelligent suspension system, not only for, um, you know, cornering, but for braking as well. So it's not just a compression damping system where you would go and change your clickers from a, a soft setting to a hard setting. The suspension actually uh, monitors, you know, driver input as well as input through the vehicle. And it basically adjusts your compression damping from side to side, so it makes your cornering flatter. Um, same thing from an acceleration standpoint, you know, it keeps the vehicle from pitching forward uh, when you were to get on the throttle. And then from a braking standpoint, also counteracts, you know, all the forces like trying to make the vehicle dive in the front. So, it, you know, it's good to hear that you had a chance to ride that thing and, and got some good feedback on it. It's also good. A lot of other racers out there with the Jagged crew. We had Ronnie Renner out there as well, you know, giving this thing a try. Yeah. So hopefully uh, you guys have a chance to, uh, you know, take some more time on it and, uh, you know, ride it some more. Yeah, well, and I know Renner and I, we were, uh, I think they had, it was Renner and then me and then R.J. Anderson, one, two, and three, uh, you know, in our group, you know, going out there. And, like, they, they had a really legit whoop section, and, and we were trying to get this thing out of shape. Um, and that's saying something when you got guys like Renner and RJ, you know what I mean? And, and we were trying to get these things out of shape and, um, you know, I, I hit those whoops and normally with a stock razor, I mean, I don't care where you have the clickers at, I can get that rear end to buck and come up and, you know, and go and go on its nose. And I literally, Andy, I tried and I couldn't get this thing to get the rear end to come off the ground. And I went, you know, that's saying something because any razor I've ever driven, you drive it hard enough you can get the rear end to come up, and this thing just stayed planted. And I'm like, man, that right there was a selling point for me. I'm like, this car knows what it's doing better than I do, that's for sure. Yeah, that's what a lot of guys are saying, you know, um, taking it to the next level. You're not only, like, reacting to the, the trail, but also uh, tied to our uh, ride command display. You can see all the stuff happening on the screen as well. So taking your customers out there, your passengers, you know, they can watch the shocks, do what they're doing. Um, you can see the throttle input. You can see, you know, the cornering input. See what the shocks are doing on the screen, which is another element that, you know, you don't see today with the standard shock uh, suspension system. No, and that's what I thought was cool. Like, you'd go into a break, and I'd, you know, I'd drive hard into the corner, and immediately you'd see that thing go from, like, 4 all the way up to 10, you know what I mean, and stiffen the suspension going into the corner. It was kind of cool to glance down and really see what was going on, you know. It was, uh, I, I really, I don't know, like, to me that was cool because, you know, you know it's working, but now you can actually kind of see it working, and uh, to me that was, uh, that was really cool. I was hoping to have Joe call in because I know he's got some ideas for uh, this system in Terracross, but... Uh, um, yeah, I know uh, you and I talk. You're going to be back in Terracross this year, right, Andy? Yeah, we're going to be kicking that thing off again at Heydays this year. So hopefully we get to see you out there and uh, maybe get some of these dynamic machines out there and give them a, a try on the track. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, we we know about Terracross. If anything can put the dynamic suspension through its paces, I think it would be Terracross. We we happen to all be a little rough on things. I think in uh, in the Terracross Championship, I think that's uh, it's probably a little bit of an understatement. But uh, yeah, we're we're a little rough on things, especially at Heydays, man. That that thing has it lends itself to making some pretty gnarly courses. Yeah, Terracross is uh, unlike any other type of uh, a racing that I've done. You know, we do the short course stuff with Torque and with Lucas Oil, and then on uh, the GNC stuff for the cross country. But uh, really, the Terracross stuff it brings it all to a head, and it makes for some really good, entertaining racing for the guys driving as well as the stands uh, full of people. You know, a lot of stuff going on. You can see the whole track. Um, this is a great atmosphere for everybody to go out and see. Yeah. Did you end up? Uh, you, it's did kind you... of like a supercross. Yeah. What I mean. You know, Jim, like you have all these GNCs, which is a wide open you know, a little bit more challenging for the fans and the spectators, and then you kind of compact it just like a Supercross event. And, you know, Terracross, you have kind of like the high flying, big jump, bar, you know, not bar bashing, I guess, ain't dirt bikes, but tire bashing, and uh, you kind of get the whole, like, Supercross feel to it. And, uh, yeah, I, that's, what I, that's what I kind of like about it. Yeah, it changes it up. Definitely changes it up. But uh, did you end up taking a win last year, Andy, or you took a podium? What, um, or did you sneak in and take a win? I can't remember. Was it you or Dave Elia? Uh, both of us, actually. Yeah. Uh, we had in the Carolina race last year, and the, the mud fest we had out there um, made some uh, good runs there, and we got a little bit smart and got a little bit lucky going through the mud there. And 
a um, couple of guys uh, got stuck, and we made a couple of good turns there. And uh, myself, I won in the pro racer class. Then Ilya, uh, he took the win in the celebrity class. Nice. Well, definitely looking forward to seeing you out there at Heydays, man. I had a good time at the Polaris Dealer Show. Uh, stoked on this dynamic suspension. I know uh, we got a lot to talk about in the next segment about it, but uh, appreciate you taking the time to call in, my friend. You bet. Good talking with you. Good seeing you out in Vegas. Yeah, you too, buddy. All right, that was uh, Andy Ives with uh, Polaris Razor. Uh, we're going to take a short break here on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor here in uh, in a second or two. And uh, when we come back from the break, uh, we've got uh, some clips we're going to air. We've got, uh, looks like, the Diesel Brothers. We've got uh, uh, Ronnie Renner. we got Joey D from UTV Underground. we got uh, Tanner Faust. Uh, so we got some clips we're going to air uh, about uh, from Team Razor and the guys in and around the brand uh, kind of talking about this new dynamic suspension. And then uh, when we come back after that, we got uh, Sarah Price calling in to chat with Amy and I. We've been talking kind of some flat track today, and I know uh, – um, looks like uh, Miss Sarah Price, she's been doing a hand, trying her hand at flat track as well as uh, driving some cars up some mountains and a bunch of other stuff. So lots of good stuff coming your way on hour number two of the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. Hey, I'm RJ Anderson, factory Polaris driver, and I drive Polaris because it's the most capable race-ready off-road vehicle on the market. When RJ Anderson wanted to set a world record for the longest UTV jump in history, not once but twice, what company did he trust? Polaris and their championship-winning Razor XP1000. RJ is a UTV champion behind the wheel of Polaris vehicles, and he exclusively trusts the Polaris Razors to bring him race wins and championships against some of the toughest off-road racers in the world. The same Polaris Razors RJ has won championships in, set world records in, and conquered the wall of death in XP1K2 are available to you at your local Polaris dealer. Take the advice of world record holder R.J. Anderson and visit Polaris on the web at Polaris.com to see the full lineup of Polaris Razor vehicles or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris Razor. Looking to have some fun on four wheels? Dirtfish Rally School has you covered. Packing as much adrenaline and adventure as you can handle into high-performance all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive Subaru rally cars is where the fun begins at Dirtfish. Just 30 minutes outside of Seattle and Snoqualmie, you'll get a chance to train up to three full days with some of the country's best instructors and be put through the high-octane rush of rally on mud, dirt, and tarmac. Get started today and call 425-888-7715 or visit us online at dirtfish.com and use code 911 for a 15% discount the subaru wrx and wrx sti a 268 horsepower turbocharged subaru boxer engine rockets the wrx around corners and down straightaways a race ready 305 horsepower turbocharged subaru boxer engine keeps the wrx sti a rally legend the subaru wrx and wrx sti it's not a sibling rivalry it's a tag team Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com slash rally. MMA at its best, and it's back. It's the RUF 21. Live cage fights on the river in the Blue Water Resort and Casino Showroom. Saturday, September 9th. See Armando Murillo versus Daviante Jones. Live for the title. Doors open at 6 p.m. Get your $25 ringside tickets now. General admission, just $15. Tickets available online or at the gift shop. Live cage fights on the river. Resort and casino, right on the water, right on the money. As certain as the sun rises and sets around the world, OTSFF Group is dedicated to providing flexible, comprehensive, and reliable transportation solutions. Air transportation, ocean freight, ground transportation, or a combination of services. We offer innovative and custom-built packages specifically designed to meet your transportation needs. OTSFF Group has been keeping shipments moving globally for nearly two decades. OTSFF Group, flexible logistics services designed for you. More information at OTSFF.com. (laughs) 
Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. Jim Beaver here, getting ready to uh, roll out some clips uh, from the Polaris Dealer Show and uh, some interviews I did with some of these uh, Polaris Razor athletes who uh, just got done riding these brand new uh, Dynamics Polaris Razors. All right, here with Joey D. Uh, just, uh, I guess, day number two of Polaris Dealer Show. Polaris just dropping some bombs, all new suspension. On the XP Turbo, what are you thinking about this new model? Oh, man, the live valve dy- live valve technology that Fox developed that's in this new Dynamics machine is pretty impressive. I mean, this is the most uh, technologically advanced you know, piece of equipment that's ever gone into a side-by-side, so it's really exciting, and it's a, it's a good tell of where we're going in the future with Polaris and uh, with off-road vehicles in general. So it's pretty exciting to see what Polaris has done, and this technology is badass. Yeah, I think uh, talking about what you're talking about, the, the technology in these razors, I think I start looking in the cab of these new razor models and almost like a, a car. Like, I think really, you know, you look 10 years ago what, uh, you know, what Polaris Razor was doing and what we've got now. And I mean, like you said, I think the future is definitely bright, you know, bringing in this new technology into the UTV industry. Well, you know, you look inside of this new Razor and you see the ride command system and then obviously with the new Dynamics shock package, you know, set up in there. And it does remind me exactly of what you see in like my 17 Ford F-350, you know, I mean, we're moving in a direction where technology is obviously driving the details and what we're doing with these side-by-sides now. You know, the days of just building something with a badass suspension, a lot of horsepower, you know, those days are, they're still here. But we're starting to take that step further where we're adding in more technology, allowing you to communicate with your phone, communicate with other riders out there, GPS, and obviously seeing where you're at. And now being able to watch your shocks change the dampening as you go. You know, I mean, it'll actually tell you when you're off the ground. You know, you, all four wheels come off the ground, and it'll say you're airborne. I mean, to watch that happening in real time inside of your side by side, your your toy is pretty impressive definitely impressive you know uh, obviously uh, you know i know we're here next to the smg uh, razor you know we talk about you know the stuff coming off the uh, you know the factory floor and how it technologically advanced you know things get but i'm looking at this and i gotta say the racing side of things things are getting pretty advanced there too buddy oh yeah things are getting real serious here in the racing side you know and uh, guys have been pushing the limits and the envelope with with what we can do with these side by sides for some time now but you're really seeing it with like the the smg razor and some of these new razors that are being built that uh you know, I mean, we're taking a lot of what guys have been figuring out in your world of trophy trucks and class ones, and we're applying it to our world. And you're seeing that what we're getting from the factory is being heavily influenced by what is taking place on the racetrack. So it's pretty exciting stuff. And all the way down to like our XP1K cars and some of the other vehicles that have been developed, you'll start to see little bits of these things start trickling into um, the actual OEM machines that are being developed by Polaris. All right, well, thanks a lot, Joey, and I uh, guess we get to go out and shred some of these razors later on today. Got to be pretty excited. Oh, super excited to get behind the wheel and actually go put this Dynamics to work and, and learn more about it and obviously bring it back to everyone at UTV Underground and give them the scoop. So thanks for having us, Jim. All right, thanks, Joey. All right, out here with Tanner Faust. We just got done with a ride with this new uh, Dynamics uh, suspension on these Polaris razors. What are your thoughts here, Tanner? It's, um, I think this word's going to get thrown around a lot, but it's a game changer. Like it's uh, okay, so it's active suspension. So 200 times a second, it's it's uh, trying to decide how stiff the suspension can be, and then in 40 milliseconds, it can actually make an adjustment. But it's not a little adjustment; it's a huge adjustment from soft to hard on the damper. And essentially, what that means is you can have a really soft riding, which equals a lot of grip, you know, riding along. And then when you hit the brakes, uh, the front dampers will go full stiff before the weight even transfers really onto them and so you don't get nosedive and you go through a corner it doesn't want to pitch and roll if you dive into a rut even if you dive in too hard and normally you might pitch up and and possibly bicycle uh the car it doesn't happen here it stays more flat and under acceleration it uh, doesn't get so much rear squat it's you know i i guess i could babble on about it forever but it's really um it's really awesome uh, it's difficult to feel because unless you go back to back, I think most people won't even know what's happening. It's really seamless, but it uh, it is doing a lot. Well, I know you know your you know relationship with Polaris has kind of evolved. I know you did some stuff with Slingshot with them. Uh, you know you jumped into a Razor last year. This year they're a partner with you and GRC. I mean, you know how how has it been being a part of the Razor family? 
Well, I got involved with Razor and with Polaris because I um, really found, after driving one, I really found that it was kind of like the best bang for the buck, a fun factor, you know, and, and, I'm, and I've had this mantra of like trying to keep uh, racing fun for people, trying to keep people into racing and getting into motorsport. I've had a great time and a great career doing that, and, and I'm, I'm really worried that the next generation of uh, drivers over there won't be driving. They'll be, you know... Um, just surfing on phones instead of getting out and having some fun. So uh, the Razor answers that question. It, it brings the fun to people. You, for motorsport, it's the it's the easiest way to get into motorsport financially, and it's uh, and so I'm really kind of proud to be a part of that um, movement. But like you said, it's much more of a family with the Polaris people. You come out, they do all kinds of barbecues and, and have a good time, and you really recognize the lifestyle that I don't really lead and I haven't been a part of, the off-road lifestyle. You really understand what it's about. It's kind of it's uh, and it's very family oriented. Yeah. When well, I know talking about the off road lifestyle, you race uh, the Mint Four Hundred with myself. You're racing Vegas Torino with Reese. Sounds like doing the thousand with Reese. I mean, how's it been? Uh, you know, jumping in and actually race conditions in these razors. Well, they cover the, the razors cover ground so fast. It's all that's always the first impression is like, holy crap! I can't believe how fast we're going over this. And then you see some sheets, and you're like going almost as fast as some million dollar trophy trucks on some sections, and and it's a little bit mind boggling. Um, they're a nice ride. Uh, they um, because they are very fast. It's a very serious deal. I mean, you have to take safety very seriously. You got to be pretty heads up, and 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 if you're racing hard, but um, I'm you know I, I'll be completely honest. I had an off opportunity to drive a trophy truck in the Baja 1000 this year and um, I'm even stoked that I'm in the Razor because um, well one working with Polaris I, I want to take that to the next level and two uh, it's it's such a it's kind of makes it, it like an adventure you know it's like if you just drive I don't know how long is it this year 1270 miles or something just making it that long on you know one of these it's it, it's spectacular um, and uh, yeah so I'm really kind of proud to be a part of that like adventure factor of it but um yeah capable little machines all right well thanks a lot tanner and uh good luck at vegas torino hey thanks bud all right out here hanging out with the diesel brothers and uh just got done with the uh 2018 polaris razor dynamic suspension you know how how, how was the ride how'd you what'd you guys think of this new uh, technology listen when i first saw it i was i don't want to say skeptical because i love polaris and i believe in everything they do but you just never know when you can push a button and like magic happens right but that's what happened we went out and push the button and magic happened. Now, you could literally feel the car reset its stance, reset the way that it was handling, reset the way that it was giving you feedback in the steering wheel with the push of a button. So originally I was like, eh, this is whatever. But after driving the car, I'm pumped. This is a huge, huge advancement. And honestly, I'm glad that Polaris is the first one to you know release it because obviously they are the ones that are out there pioneering and innovating this technology. Everybody else is just copying them. Well, and, uh, you know, it's, I got to say, you guys have a lot of fun in your Polaris Razors. You know, you guys have been known to put one on its lid a time or two. You think this is going to help keep you on the wheels, or you still think uh, there's a chance you end up on your lid? Look, if anything has a chance of keeping Diesel Dave from going tits up, it's this. Because he has this uncanny ability to get a machine to do, you know, the break dance move or get on your head and spin. He's just really good at it. Uh, hopefully, this is going to be able to keep him, you know, rubber side down a little bit longer. I don't think it's going to ultimately be the fix because I think that's inside his soul. That's something he's going to have to fix from the inside. It's a, it's a deep burning thing that he has. And maybe he doesn't want to fix it, you know. Maybe, maybe he enjoys being upside down. For me, I feel like I'm good. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. We'll talk soon. Absolutely. Pleasure. All right, just got done with these new, new Dynamics Polaris Razors, hanging out here with the Diesel Brothers. You guys have been out here at uh, the, uh, you know, the I guess the Polaris Dealer Show uh, the past couple of days. I mean, what's the experience? How's it been? How's, you know, the Razor life been treating you guys? Oh, the Razor life is treating me so well. The coolest is the Razor family that comes with the Razor life. To be here with all these other guys and girls that love Razor just as much as we do is is a phenomenal experience and they're just really good people that build a fantastic product these new razors coming out are blowing my mind the technology behind the dynamics and all the other parts of these razors is mind-blowing and the way that they function i mean it's gonna put you back in your seat and you better be hanging on well and you know it's one of those things too with you guys you could choose any utv on the planet that you wanted to but you guys are here you're with polaris razor i think that you know that speaks volumes for you know the product there itself mm -hmm. i mean the product speaks for itself on how good it is the reason we choose polaris is because the people involved they're great people that have the same beliefs and work ethic as we do you got people involved that are just fun people to be around and really at the end of the day it's about who you surround yourself with and surrounding yourself with the polaris family has been the best move we ever made all right. Well, thanks a lot. Stoked to have you guys out here, and uh, we'll talk soon. All right, buddy. 
All right, I got Ronnie Renner here just finishing up, uh, putting these Dynamics Polaris XB turbos through their paces. Dude, what, what do you think about this game-changing technology? It is game-changing. You know, from the outside, it doesn't look like anything huge happened, but when you ride these bad boys, you know, a vehicle that was already the top handling UTV in the market is now light years above everything else. I mean, the technology that's gone into this, I think surprised all of us is, is you know, uh, drivers were out here thinking, yeah, we know how to drive how the cars, you know, we set them up for our liking, but they really pleasantly surprise you in places that you would think you might overdrive it or something. So um, it's got my mind thinking like desert racing, all kinds of fun stuff that I always kind of put beside before. And that's just confidence inspiring from, you know, a little demo ride with the lap belt. <laughs> Well, and that's what's funny, you know, these are totally stock, and I had so damn much fun, and I kept going, you know, all right, we're going to get this thing to get out of control, or we're going to do this, and the thing just stuck, you know, and like you said, normally you were riding a Razor with stock belts, and you're bouncing all over the inside, and I didn't have that today. Yeah, I mean, it's not confidence-inspiring having a stock belt, let's face the facts, and even, you know, all of us out here today, we have custom belt Razors, seats are kind of getting us strapped in there nice and snug and, and set up for racing, so, you know, I'm talking Hans devices, the whole shebang. We're out here just raw dogging it. And, of course, you know, it's a bunch of testosterone floating around. We're all kind of seeing who can get through the whoops the fastest and this and that. And every single person I talk to, including myself, is like, man, I couldn't even get that thing to kick me weird or do nothing funky. So what's up next for you the rest of the year? I know, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we're midseason now. You've had some uh, Razor rides so far. What's up with you and uh, Polaris Razor for the rest of this year? Well, I've got a lot in, in the fire, and I've on the Razor side of my program, I've been looking forward to the second half of 2017 because um, I'm going to dedicate a lot of my time to it. You know, the desert season starts coming around, Camp Razors, um, my own personal program. I'm switching things up a lot, and I'm going to do uh, move my base camp back to Florida, which I've got a really cool property, and, you know, hopefully the fans and people interested are going to see some footage of me building jumps and some motocross, free ride inspired obstacles and everything to go play with you know gonna keep the the travel and free ride program going but i'm um, just looking for a change of pace and that's where a lot of my efforts going right now all right good catching up with uh the team polaris razor and uh, talking some dynamic suspension but uh, we got to take a short break we come back sarah price on the line here on the down and dirty radio show powered by polaris razor I'm Polaris rider Jim Beaver. I race trophy trucks professionally, host a down and dirty radio show, and also travel the country announcing motorsports events. I've seen it all, and trust me, I've done most of it, so when it comes time to relax on the weekend, nothing is better than taking time with my family in our Razor vehicles. They've got the reliability I need to just pick up and go explore the desert dunes or trail and have the capability to attack even the harshest terrain. If you're looking for some of the most reliable and safest and hands-down most capable off-road machines in the world, look no further than Polaris and their award-winning lineup of Razor vehicles. Whether you want your daughter to experience off-road driving for the first time in a Razor 170 like me, take the entire family out in a Razor XP4 1000 on the weekend, or shred the desert and dunes in the all-new Razor XP1000 Fox Edition, Polaris has you handled. Take my advice and join me and some of the best drivers in the world by driving a Polaris Razor. Check out the full Polaris Razor lineup at Polaris.com or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris. Polaris Razor. Life is all about sound. The sound of sports. The sound of the racetrack. And the sound of your vehicle. Don't drive around listening to this. Drive around listening to the sound of performance. Gibson Performance. Gibson Performance Exhaust is the company who can turn this into this. Remember that life is all about sound, and Gibson Exhaust is the sound of performance. Check out your next catback exhaust system, headers, muffler, or UTV exhaust at GibsonPerformance.com and get more power and more sound. Do you race or are you a weekend warrior? Have you checked on the date on your helmet recently? Don't get caught off guard by using an outdated helmet. Impact Racing, the leader in motorsport safety, has new SA 2015 helmets to fit your budget. Whether you're looking for a helmet with a full carbon fiber shell to take you to victory at the Indy 500 or just looking for some helmets for a weekend at Glamis, Impact Racing has a helmet for you. Find out more information at impactraceproducts.com or on Facebook at Impact Safety. 
Since 1970, Casey Highlights has been designing and manufacturing performance lighting for off-road and motorsports, beginning with the legendary Daylighter up until today's revolutionary Flex, Pod, and Pro 6 lighting systems. Casey Highlights offers a full line of halogen, HID, and LED lighting solutions for your off-road vehicle. Looking for the best quality lighting? Looking for the brand champions choose? You're looking for KC Highlights. Find out more information at kchighlights.com or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at KC Highlights. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, a 268 horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine, rockets the WRX around corners and down straightaways. A race ready 305 horsepower turbocharged Subaru boxer engine keeps the WRX STI a rally legend. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, it's not a sibling rivalry, it's a tag team. Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com slash rally. Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. Jim Beaver joined on the line. We got uh, my co-host, Amy Hood. And Sarah Price, two of the raddest chicks on the planet, and uh, got them both here on the Down and Dirty Radio Show. What's happening, Sarah Price? Hey, girl. How are you, Amy? How are you, Jim? Doing, uh, doing well. I said doing good. I got a funny story, Sarah, and I haven't told anybody this yet, but you're going to laugh, laugh your ass off when I say this. So I was at... Uh, um, where the heck was I recently? Um, I don't even know. Um, I was at some event. Oh, it was at the Polaris dealer show. And I had somebody walk up to me and said, Hey, Hey, I, I was out at Mount Washington. I think they were like a Polaris dealer up there in like uh new Hampshire or something like that. He goes, I got this amazing picture of you and your wife together. And I said, me and my wife, <laughs> I'm like, my wife's in Arizona. He's like, well, who was the girl you were with? I'm like, oh, that's Sarah Price. That's just my buddy Sarah. And he goes, oh, he's like, well, anyways, I'll email it to you if you want it. I'm like, yeah, send it over. I haven't seen it yet, but I just thought it was hilarious. I'm like, yeah. That is so funny. Um, Yeah. Promise, James, I'm not moving in or anything. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. James, you're like, taker. (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh that's great i know you saved me up on that mountain well i was looking to get off of that mountain it was like freaking 35 degrees on that mountain uh, you know they're like oh sarah needs a ride down i'm like so it's either stay up here for four more hours or bail off the hill i'm out of here like it was a selfish yeah, reason i know yeah it's so crazy how sunny it is below and then you get up top and you're like okay it is dark wet and cold Oh, the wind was <laughs> hell on earth up there. It was crazy bad. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was insane. So take us through this because I know Amy and I have talked about this contest. Um, you know, she did a video for it. You did a video. You got picked. Like, take us through this process uh, with Hoonigan and how this whole deal kind of kind of, <laughs> kind of came through. Yeah, so uh, actually I was helping out Ashley, who's a producer with Hoonigan, and uh, I was trying to get her a razor for another show. She was referred to me from someone else who said I might have a car for her for a, a show to run out. And so she had hit me up, and she's like, hey, she goes, you race too. She goes, we're doing this, this female driving competition. You should submit a video. And so I just kind of thought about it, and I was like, yeah, you know, I have nothing going on. Might as well. And so I did, and... Uh, yeah, then soon enough, I was I was picked, and I kind of was like, oh, well, this is cool. At least I have something to do in the next few weeks, and little did I know what it would turn into, and uh, I had absolutely no hopes of winning or anything. I just wanted to have a good time and get to know the Hoonigan guys a little better because, dude, they're, they're awesome. Like, what they represent and what they do is just, it's really awesome for the sport, and I just uh, wanted to get to know some cool people. So then after that, we basically headed off to Hoonigan to meet the other six finalists. Which... What was that? Oh, nothing. We were just getting a little feedback through the phone line. Oh, man. So, so uh, you're good. Then after that, we headed off to Hoonigan Donut Garage, and uh, 
a six girls got put straight to to work on some crazy carts and uh yeah i don't know if you guys saw it or not but i fell off a loading dock on a crazy cart and <laughs> it got a little wild <laughs> wow yeah i was definitely following along your social media because like you know kind of your guys's presence and you know, all the girls coming together and, you know, doing all your social media stuff to promote the, the search was actually pretty sweet. Like, it was kind of cool to see all these different girls from different backgrounds, uh, you know, and just kind of how they captured their life, um, you know, for those couple of weeks for the search was, was pretty cool. And they, especially, you know, you come from a moto, kind of flipped it to the truck, uh, you know, call it Davis and some of the other girls who I've actually never heard before heard about before but diving into their social media and learning about all these new badass girls was really really cool yeah it's super it, honestly they picked a handful of great girls like all the girls there like we sat down at a table when we first got there and we got to know each other and kind of what their backgrounds were because none of us had known each other or heard of each other me and colette had texted a few times in the previous year but other than that, it was just like, oh, no way. Like, you drift cars, you race this, you do that. Like, we all have yeah, no yeah. idea about each other's world. And so I know. we all from a completely different background. And it was really cool to get to know each other. And all of them were humble and seriously, legit badass chicks. So it was, it was really cool. They picked a good group of girls. Yeah. So, uh, so this whole deal, I know, like, I, I was uh, – I know I got a text from you about Mount Washington, and you went through the whole process. You got uh, kind of pegged for the seat, um, but we got to get to Mount Washington because we don't have a, a massive amount of time. But um, yeah, so I know you, I got a text from you like, "Hey, I'm going to be at Mount Washington," and uh, like I didn't know, you know, you'd got picked, and we got up there, and then all of a sudden you're in this Fiat, and I mean, uh, you know, take us through that weekend because um, that hill is no joke, Sarah. That's, I mean, there's dire consequences on that mountain. Like, what was your first thought when you went up there? And, and I know you took, like, the rental up there. And, I mean, what did you – what was your thoughts on this whole deal? So, legitly, I was blown away. I was like, are you serious? I have to go up this hill at speed? And, like, you know, I know myself where if I need to do something to, to be faster – to do well i will do it but man that that's a little bit of a head trick that one that was the most nervous i think i've been for something because the consequences are so high you have a you have like a five thousand foot cliff on the, the side of you the whole time and that's nerve-wracking <laughs> you know like when you take off the line for a motor race or a car race or anything you're you have those nerves but right when the gate drops you basically all that diminishes and in this case it didn't like your human instinct is kicking in while you're driving still and it's like hey you know ease back a little bit you're on a cliff where you could possibly die yeah. like you probably shouldn't be here and so you know it was kind of it was something new that i had to to conquer and overcome for myself um having that extra nervousness while i was driving because usually it goes away right away but yeah yeah no i had pretty much and, and I didn't come from street. I, uh, you know, I, I've been in a street car a handful of times on a track before. And then in this competition, it was pretty much all street stuff we did. And uh, I honestly didn't expect to do well in it. And I honestly felt really comfortable, though, in the first half. They put us in racing the cars around and getting lap times and stuff. And I just kept excelling. And surprisingly, I caught on pretty fast. And I actually did feel really comfortable in the, on the street stuff. So... Um, I felt confident, but still, I, I you know, I, I haven't grown up on street. I didn't have that experience, but I definitely have the experience of correcting when things go wrong because that's what off-road is the whole time. So I feel like, mm -hmm. you know, that's probably a reason why they felt comfortable with putting me on such a, um insane possible deadly mountain <laughs> because they're like, well, if things do go wrong, we know Sarah can, can probably fix it or save it. So... That was good. <laughs> yeah, that was was insane. I mean, it, it 
like, I, and I've I haven't been on Pikes Peak, but I've watched enough in car footage and stuff. But you get to you get to Mount Washington, and it's about half the width of Pikes Peak. You know what I mean? And the roads and like. I don't know. It was just uh, it was impressive to see how well you did. I know uh, the thing that sucks about it is is that events every three years because I think it's one of those like you know you ended up having some issues with the car, but if you were to be able to go back back next year, I think you'd be able to do really well. And it just kind of stinks that there's like a three year gap before they do it again. You know? Yeah, that that does kind of suck. But um, you know, honestly, it was such a good experience, and I learned so much from it. And the FIA, honestly, it killed it. It was such a perfect car for that. They have the Rally Edition uh, 124 Spider, And that thing, it has a lot of horsepower. For, for what it is, it's putting down at least 350 horsepower. And it's a sequential paddle shift car, so it's fast as shifting. And it's light. So this thing pulled really good up the mountain. And uh, it just took some learning for me. So each time I hit the mountain, it was like a drastic drop in time, which is pretty crazy. So... It was good that every time I just kept improving and just kept uh, chipping away at the, the time of the mountain. And I honestly had a blast. I, I wish it turned out better, but, hey, that's racing, and that happens. Yeah, well, and we got to go alpine sliding. I mean, what, what's better? I'm on the mountain, and I'm texting Amy, you know, hey, we're going bobsledding, and she's like, what? <laughs> uh, no helmet, no safety gear, nothing. I'm like, mm, great, there goes my, uh, my co-host. Like, yeah. Done. Like I seriously, Sarah. Though after going down that hill, I'm like, how has somebody not been sued? Like how has somebody not died doing this? Like there was no, there's no safety precautions whatsoever. I was like, this is nutty as going up the hill. You know, it was, uh, it was pretty, it was pretty wild. I can't believe those things are legal. And that was the funniest thing because when I went to Mount Washington and I saw that your post, you're going to be there. I was like, yes, like I know someone there, like awesome. <laughs> and uh, I hit you up and I'm kind of incognito because no one knows that I won the competition and we still had to keep it under wraps. So I was like, hey, Jim, like I think this is before we even did anything. Like we just saw you and then went straight alpine sliding. And uh, yeah, we we just we got crazy too like we were standing up on those things like we had so much footage of us eating crap <laughs> yeah that was uh was i don't know it was a blast and i had to get called away because i had a meeting with subaru but uh like i i was sounds like things got really wild after i left but uh yeah that, i can't wait for that video footage to come out because uh there was some good stuff in there like yeah. that was that was a lot of fun but uh before we let you go we got to talk vegas dorino's coming up obviously i made a big announcement with travis pastrana but uh you are racing vegas dorino as well uh give us uh give us a skinny back in the 6100 truck right I am. I'm super excited. I haven't quite told anyone yet, but yes, we're going to be back with Team RPM Off-Road. And uh, not only are we going to be in their truck, but they had switched their trophy truck that had raced up Vegas or at uh, Laughlin Desert Classic to now a 6100, which the truck was meant to be originally. And so it's going to be a really good competitive truck and trophy truck spec. And in that yeah. fact, it's really cool because... We, it it, it kind of comes down to the driver because it's not necessarily who has the best truck because they're all pretty similar. And uh, I have actually another driver that's coming on, which I'm super excited to announce eventually. Um, we should be announcing her the next week. I will say it's a girl. And we're kind of going with an all-girls effort. And uh, we are going in knowing that we can be competitive and possibly come home with a win and and you know of course we're just going to do our best and drive as smart as we can but uh we definitely have a good team uh, that's built and hopefully it leads into more with rpm yeah it's uh i'm pretty excited kind of knowing the the what the makeup of the team is and, oh you know, girls Heck yeah, yeah it's it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting i can't wait for you to make those announcements i'll have to get uh the other driver on air yeah. uh, sometime before vegas Trino because i know amy knows her very well as well so good stuff man sarah you've been busy i know we only got like a minute left but uh you went flat tracking right we had jared Mees on not not too long ago uh uh in the show but uh I know Amy's done a lot of, uh, you know, ice riding and stuff like that, but, uh, um, seriously, who's, uh, how did that come about? That was a total random thing too. I, uh, yeah, Letitia Klein, she just phoned, asked me one time, like, Hey, do you, do you want to go and race flat track? And 
Harley wants to have some girls out. And I was like, for sure. Like, I'd love to try it. And just one thing led to another. I never, ever ridden the bike or even tried it. And I just went full on out and just raced it my first time ever. And uh, I had a blast. Now I'm all hooked. I need to build a bike and all this stuff. And James is just like, oh, my gosh, another thing you're doing? <laughs> like, how, like, when is there time for me? I'm like, well, you know, you can come to my races. <laughs> says the guy you have to get a bike too and join you on the starting line that's how it you know that's how it all plays out you know if you can't keep up then join on in says the guy yeah, who can't exactly. go to vegas torino because he's rallying one day and he's doing red bull soapbox derby the next he, he, that's like the I pot know. calling the kettle black right there james saying james saying that uh oh there's no time for me come on james like <laughs> Yeah, he's just busy. <laughs> he did come to one of my races, though, and he was bored out of his mind. And then I went to one of his, and I was like, I was bored out of my mind. So I was like, okay, maybe this spectating thing isn't good for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Well, good having you on, Sarah. I know we'll uh, definitely talk yeah, soon. No. Uh, we'll definitely uh, catch up with you uh, out of Vegas, Torino, for sure, if not before then. But uh, best of luck and uh, great chatting. Thank you, guys. Good hearing from you. All right. Take it easy, Sarah. Yeah. All right. right, That was Sarah Price, and we'll be back wrapping things up after this on the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. Hey, I'm RJ Anderson, factory Polaris driver, and I drive Polaris because it's the most capable, race-ready off-road vehicle on the market. When R.J. Anderson wanted to set a world record for the longest UTV jump in history, not once but twice, what company did he trust? Polaris and their championship-winning Razor XP1000. R.J. is a UTV champion behind the wheel of Polaris vehicles, and he exclusively trusts the Polaris Razors to bring him race wins and championships against some of the toughest off-road racers in the world. The same Polaris Razors RJ has won championships in, set world records in, and conquered the wall of death in XP1K2 are available to you at your local Polaris dealer. Take the advice of world record holder RJ Anderson and visit Polaris on the web at Polaris.com to see the full lineup of Polaris Razor vehicles or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Polaris Razor. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI. The 268-horsepower, turbocharged Subaru Boxer engine rockets the WRX around corners and down straightaways. A race-ready 305-horsepower turbocharged Subaru Boxer engine keeps the WRX STI a rally legend. The Subaru WRX and WRX STI, it's not a sibling rivalry. It's a tag team. Get the latest from Subaru Rally Team USA at Subaru.com rally. Looking to have some fun on four wheels? Dirtfish Rally School has you covered. Packing as much adrenaline and adventure as you can handle into high-performance all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive Subaru Rally cars is where the fun begins at Dirtfish. Just 30 minutes outside of Seattle and Snoqualmie, you'll get a chance to train up to three full days with some of the country's best instructors and be put through the high-octane rush of rally on mud, dirt, and tarmac. Get started today and call 425-888-7715 or visit us online at dirtfish.com and use code 911 for a 15% discount. MMA at its best and it's back. It's, it's the RUF 21. Live cage fights on the river in the Blue Water Resort and Casino Showroom. Saturday, September 9th. See Armando Murillo versus Deviante Jones. Live, Live for the, the title. title. Doors open at 6 p.m. Get your $25 ringside tickets now. General admission just $15. Tickets available online or at the gift shop. Live cage fights on the river. Blue Water Resort and Casino. For 100 years, General Tire has provided tires for your lifestyle, your adventure, your anywhere. Born from competition, the Grabber Tire offers the durability and off-road traction you demand in a tire. We put these tires to the test in the harshest off-road racing conditions to give you a tire that will make your anywhere possible. So let us take you on your next big adventure. Tweet us photos at General Tire, hashtag anywhere is possible. Because with General Tire, anywhere is possible.
Welcome back to the Down and Dirty Radio Show, powered by Polaris Razor. Jim Beaver, Amy Hood here, wrapping things up. Don't forget, next week, episode number 300, stack guest list, three hours long. Don't miss this one. I don't know if we wrap things up, Hood, you got anything? No, just uh, stay tuned uh, for my motocross school schedule coming out on my Facebook and Instagram. And everybody, ride safe, have fun. All right, got to give a shout out to Polaris Razor, General Tire, Subaru, Casey Highlights, Gibson Exhaust, Dirtfish, Impact, OTSFF, Optimus Starters, Terracross, the Blue Water Resort and Casino. Big thanks to Jared Means, Andy Ives, Sarah Price. I'm at Jim Beaver 15 on social media. Amy is at Amy Hood 71. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe to Project Action and the Down or Dirty Radio Show on iTunes. And that coupon code for Dirtfish Rally School is JB Dirtfish for 15% off all classes at Dirtfish Rally School. Um, I don't know, man. It's uh, it's definitely been a fun one. Uh, don't forget to head over to Facebook. Check out that Travis Pastrana Star Car video debut. It's up there on my Facebook page. Uh, looks like it's on Polaris Razors now. It's on Jolene Van Vutes. Uh, it's, I don't know, kind of going viral at this point. we got like 15,000 views in like less than an hour. So, um, right on. Yeah, definitely pretty rad. So, uh, I don't know, it's getting cycled in there, but it's definitely good stuff. Thanks to all you for tuning in. We'll be back next week with episode number 300. Be safe as always. Game on.